Uh, Kapva Cave is situated in southern Urals, Russia. Uh, the upper Polonese paintings were discovered there in 1959. Uh, and archaeological research was conducted by my archaeologist Mada Shilinsky and so on. And the uh, uh, southern Ural archaeological expedition of Lomonosov Moscow State University started to began its work in cave in uh, 2008. Katha Cave is a limestone cast cave uh, with three hypsometric levels. Uh, the length of all chambers and halls is uh, about three kilometers. And the first level is filled with water, the underground Shulgan River, so the access is restricted now, and it was before. Uh, the uncalibrated dates for, of uh, human attendance in the Upper Paleolithic are uh, 16, uh, 13,000 of years, but the calibrated dates are much older, 19, 16,000 dates, uh, thousand years. And this uh, radiocarbon date colorates uh, with the results of uranium yeah. dating. Um, of spiliothemes. Uh, so uh, I would like to pay attention on the most remarkable paintings of Kapla Cave. Uh, these are panels uh, with um, uh, mammal, uh, bisons, horses, and also an anthropomorphic figure in the chamber of house and uh, fish, and panel horses and signs so with the camel found dust here. Uh, so there are. Uh, 65 uh, molluscal shells with pierced holes and 150 shells without holes and about 199 uh, well, like fragments of shells uh, which are mostly Theodoxus shells uh, and the area uh, that uh, Theodoxus inhabited is about 450 kilometers away from the cave. So this perfectly shows uh, how far they could travel this time. Uh, and bird-shaped birds and uh, pedants and a small cup made from serpentine were found uh, on the middle level of the cave. And also some serpentine uh, objects were found on this third level. So this perfectly shows uh, the uh, interaction between those groups of people who came there to practice some to, to draw and to uh, practice some artistic practices. So, um, and also we found some palettes with traces of pigment and actually the first one would be uh, uh, Manant. So uh, they were hidden between, uh, between stones and so last year we found this palette. Uh, our attention was concentrated on the Chamber of Science. Uh, the wall containing images was divided into four parts, uh, Northern A wall, Northern B, Western A and Western B. And they were separated by a niche, also contained uh, traces of pigment. So the first and the most remarkable composition on the Southern A wall is a zoomorphic figure, most likely a bison, and two geometric signs. Um, so, uh, since the discovery of paintings in Kapla Cave, there have been made several attempts to document them, provided by archaeologists and specialists in natural sciences, but there is still no complete catalogue with all the necessary information. And one of the main problems encountered <coughs> by the Southern Earls Archaeological Expedition of MSU um, during the cataloging of wall paintings, were the problem in identifying uh, images of poor preservation, uh, determining boundaries for measurement, correlation of separated stands. So the importance of this problem is determined by the need for clear measurement uh, criteria uh, for monitoring of wall images. Uh, so um, this composition, as I said, we have a zoomorphic figure and a geometrical uh, science. Uh, most likely trapezium because um, we can see so-called ears on the both, both sides of trapezium. So this is why we determine this figure as a trapezium. Uh, so these images uh, seem to present a unified composition uh, because of three criteria. First of all, they are located on a smooth surface on the ledge. They recapitulate the 
the surface and we see an attempt to write them into the whole available surface. So these criteria will then help us uh, in the work with uh, images of worse preservation. Um, for example, the object number 37, a stain or a group of stains. Uh, and if these blues uh, ever had a clear contour, they would definitely have been connected compositionally. And the double triangle on the bottom of the wall perfectly shows the, the same situation. So if you change objects, you can see the pattern. But of course, no photo can uh, reflect the situation properly. Uh, that's why we need more, far more demonstrative um, uh, examples. So we consider uh, photogrammetry as a, uh, to be a very important part of uh, studying rock art, pedestrian art. Despite some difficulties in making 3D models, um, poor lighting, uh, problematical emplacement of the turn uh, points, uh, in the end we can see uh, a very illustrative model easy to make and to work with. Uh, moreover, it is easier to work um, with images under the uh, white light, or yellow light rather than white one, uh, because um, under the white lights uh, the wall glints pink and that can hinder uh, the timing of new paintings. Uh, talking about geometrical signs, um, chapetsons in particular, it is necessary to work out clear measurement criteria. So, uh, clear measurement parameters for both, both uh, bases and lateral sides, and also ES, as the length can differ, and the width of, line, uh, of lines, of course. Um, some walls were painted with coil graffiti left by tourists, and after they were cleaned off, uh, some new fragments of paintings were built, but still they are covered with uh, calcite on the larger area, so, um, Sometimes we can see fragments of paintings on those parts of the walls where there is no calcite and sometimes their contours emerge but their boundaries are still undeterminable. These are, there are some stains which can raise questions about their origins, especially considering nearby foraginations of very deep tone. We can either change the light in the cave or we can um, change a contrast of photos to see if they differ in color. The spectrum of ochre turns to grayish brown or red from brown orange, as you can see here. Um, there are some stains which can. Uh, few, finally, a few words about some points found at the distance. They both have a very bright red tint. Um, uh, unfortunately, I don't have photos. First one is located on a sm smooth ledge about one meter high. Uh, this is perhaps a fingerprint. The second one is bigger and covered with calcite. During our research, it became quite obvious that uh, the tone of ochre varies from stain to stain, from a very bright red to deep crimson. It is still a question which one is more ancient. In conclusion, we would like to demonstrate the difference between red color of photos of virginations from the upper level of the cave where no images were discovered and uh, red color from fragments of paintings for sure. So the first one is paintings and the second one is virginations. Uh, in conclusion, we would like um, uh, to ins we insist on saying that the work with Prieto art of Capova or any other case uh, demands great attention to the details, the relief, the color, the location of stains, the features of geomorphology, proper documenting and fixation of stains, uh, as well as their detailed description, will then let us develop a full catalogue of full information. So the study of Capital Cave will continue towards searching for new traces of human activity, new paintings and documenting of already known ones, which is especially relevant in the light of the fast developing technologies. We are wide open for any cooperation and knowledge, knowledge exchange. So thank you for your attention.